The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, yesterday added a fresh angle to the troubles of the immediate past governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, as the commission sealed mansions allegedly traced to him at a Ngozika estate in Oka. It placed a notice which reads, EFCC, keep off under investigation on the wall of an abandoned building traceable to Obiano, the development that followed is released after six days in the commission's custody. The EFCC also seized Obiano's passport following his arrest at the Morisala Mohammed International Airport on his way to Houston, United States of America, shortly after handing over to his successor, Professor Chukuma Suludu, on Thursday, March 17, 2022. He was granted administrative bail, but it took another two days to meet the bail condition, including provisions of two directors of federal civil service who must have landed property in Metama or Wuse areas of Abuja and a senator as shorties. It was learned that representative of Anambra North Senatorial District Stella Odua was approached to stand shorty for the governor ahead of his release. EFCC Head of Media and Publicity Wisin Wajere was quoted as saying that Obiano was arrested for alleged misappropriation of public funds, including 5 billion naira shopee and 37 billion naira security votes, which was withdrawn in cash. Part of the funds was also allegedly diverted to finance political activities in the state. Obiano was placed on the EFCC's watch list a few months before the expiration of his tenure. Just as the commission cautioned that the former governor had questions to answer over alleged sleaze why in office. Suludu was to make matters worse for his predecessor when he revealed in an interview on a rice television that Obiano left a debt of 109 billion naira for the state and between 300 to 400 million naira cash in the state's treasury. Hi. Hmm. Kai, 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 kai. Hmm. I don't think that this man envisaged all of this. Is maybe that was the reason why some weeks before his uh, end of a uh, tenor, he went to visit Buhari himself and the wife. They went to visit Buhari because they had informed him before. So I don't know whether they had already assured him from presidency that don't worry, carry go. But unfortunately, and uh, for him, he just went there as normal, like every other day. But he didn't know that uh, he's not going to work. Because he ought to have known that they would not allow him. In as much, they had even informed him. If they didn't inform him, it would have been a different thing that he just went there and he was surprised to have seen what happened. But he was informed. So I don't know why, how he got the confidence that they would allow him to go. They would not allow him to go because I didn't he was able to go and forget it. You see, that guy, five, ten years, you would not even see him in Nigeria again. So now, they will start uh, confiscating their properties. It's not making matter was Yes, Solido is not, it did not make matter was He's saying the fact, oh, they are not messed up an Anambra State Treasury. Let him return some back. Hey, in every mad display of greed, there are some beneficiaries. The double story going around in Abuja is that Obiano was a saint and Anambra women were threatening nakedness to visit Abuja. Let the law pursue that man and his alcoholic wife. Did I just say return some back? Hey, <laughs> hey. This is why we are where we are. He should pay back every couple log logically traced to him, and we even be compelled to pay interest on every couple. With this, others will learn how to leave public funds for the public. Why well, even this idea of a they should return? Return what? Is that not theft? They should return what? So if somebody is 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 a misappropriation, is it not supposed to go go him for it? Is it not supposed to be a uh, 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 is whether jail or whatever to serve as punishment? Ha! Huh. And that is what is giving most of these uh, politicians confidence. I ah, yes, they will tell you we will play bargaining. They will just say return some, and that is it. Hope you know it's not serious. What is he doing with such an amount? Absolute greediness, he should go to jail. Huh. Well, 
thank you EFCC, Anambra State was really destroyed by this demon. We thought he is a drunkard but didn't know he was the biggest looter of the century. I urge the good people of Anambra State to come up with information to where his properties and inform EFCC immediately. To be frank with this matter, Obiano is a disgrace to his personality. He has never paid pensioners or gratuity since 2017. See his departure, even if Buari came for his shorty, let him rust, rot in jail. Because many retired civil servants have died because if is evil because of his evil administration. Some people don't even know Anambra very well. In Anambra, no single road in Anambra is in good condition. Everywhere is decayed under Ubiano. He will rot in jail since 2017. T his departure. He hasn't paid any pensioners or gratuity. So why all this? Uh, uh, he built a uh, 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 what is it called? What is it called? Airport. All those ones say uh, they just use that to as a camouflage. Oh, they will do one thing, but the rest ones they will leave it. He will rot in jail. How the Soludo make matter worse by being open to Anambra people, telling them the truth. The Soludo partake in the package. Parking spree. Soludo promised a high level of transparency to Anambra State, and that is what he's doing instantly. Nobody should disturb the solution, Governor. I beg. 109 billion naira debt. Her politicians, her Lord have mercy. If ESCC fails to recover all he looted, that means they are not doing their job well. Obiano should produce 47, the 47 billion naira in his possession. Including the incurred interest, so do you are in trouble. Hey, <laughs> hey, for what? Obiano and his drunkard wife are monsters who feasted mercilessly on the state treasury. They should be made to return all the funds uh, frittered away by husband and wife. Obiano should have known that a man of Soludo's pedigree, pedigree would not cut corners. These are the money that was meant to use and work for the indigents of the states. It's now gradually going back to EFCC. What's a wicked leader? Why? 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 Obiano is the worst governor of Anambra State. If you go to jail, and they have a house, they, they have their own home in a, a, a developed country. The same man that was talking about a uh, Hesman. That say if they do this, you pay them five thousand. If they do you like this, they oh God. You say all these people, eh? the way they reason it, it sucks. It does.